states received 150 billion in the first CARES Act. What are what are you going to need now uh, to get back on your feet? What have you told the president on that front? And how do you address Republican complaints that the federal government should not be bailing out states who were uh, badly managed uh, prior to the pandemic? Yeah, so I've, I've been in office two, going on two and a half years, and I got elected to sort of fix the economy, and we, we made a lot of progress on what I would call the legacy issues. Record pension payments, stabilizing indebtedness, record surpluses, uh, and as Mike Tyson says, everyone's got a plan until you get punched in the face. Yeah. And, uh, we, and we did. And we did. So we, we've, we've made, we've got a plan, and we're, we're comfortable with the progress. That, it's going to take a while on the legacy stuff. The financial assistance we need, and we need a significant amount. This is a big hit, and this is somewhere in New Jersey alone could be 20 to $30 billion. But this is to allow us to keep firefighters, teachers, police, EMS on the payroll, serving the communities in their hour of need. And that's something that um, we feel strongly about. We don't see it as a bailout. We, we see this as a partnership, uh, doing the right thing in what is the worst healthcare crisis in the history of our nation. Uh, and I want to, again, thank the President for an extraordinary spirit of partnership across the whole spectrum of our needs. And I want to reiterate that. Thank you. I will say that's a tough question because you're talking about